Hey guys, it's me again. I just decided to make another video today because I just wanted to illustrate how bad my hoarding tendencies got towards car parts and tools. Um, when I first got my Ford RV, it's based on an Econoline 150. Uh, the hubcaps were in very bad condition. So I went on eBay and I decided to go buy some new ones to make the van look better. And here they are. Never used them. Uh, these are OEM takeoffs uh, from 150 Econolines. Um, I haven't even taken out of the box except for this one. That's how long I've had them. Don't really care about them. But then what I did was I took one of my spare Dodge hubcaps and I tried them on the Ford. In fact, here it is. I still keep this in the back of my van, you guys, in case a hubcap flies off for whatever reason. My van doesn't look like, you know, you're, it's missing a tooth or something. And if you look there, that's what I used today. Those are Dodge hubcaps, not Ford. I think they look better. But then, you know, I decided to ask, I didn't decide, but I asked myself, well, what if I lost more hubcaps? Well, then I found this great deal on super cheap hubcaps, which were in excellent condition. So I bought four more. There you go. Four of them. These are all for um, B-150s, B-250s, and Dodge truck, you know, half ton uh, and three quarter ton. But then I thought, you know what? And... You know, uh, maybe I'll go into the desert and the coyotes and the armadillos are all hubcap thieves. And I was in the flea market and here's four more. These are all OEM, still in the original Mopar packaging. I got them for less than 50 bucks. But then I thought, you know what, what if I decide to do a four-wheel drive conversion on, my, on the Ford van? Well, I'm going to need some hubcaps to match that. So here are the four-wheel drive front hubcaps that would have gone to a Dodge to match the rear. And uh, yeah, that's how bad it got, man. I've got more parts laying around that I know what to do with. And uh, picking through this has really illustrated to me how bad I've gotten uh, and I, how much I need to do something about this. So I, I don't know what to do with all these parts. Um, you know, if you have a 78 through... Uh, 78 through 93 really you know I don't have any fuel injection parts I've got two intake manifolds back there for TBI but they're through 92 um, and a complete exhaust system too that I'm digging out and trying to figure out what I'm going to do with give me an email because I gotta get rid of all this stuff because the great irony of all this is I don't own a Dodge <laughs> I used to but I don't own anymore I don't own one anymore uh, and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this because Man, I can't believe how bad I really got. Okay. Uh, once again, I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, my day has been very enlightening for me. Um, and uh, I'm just going to keep on going here and uh, digging through my stuff and uh, trying to figure out where, how on earth did I let it get so bad. Okay. See you later.